Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd. Hello and welcome to something a little bit different. Today we're going to be testing out this, the Xbox One controller, on Watch Dogs on PC because the drivers for this controller were recently released. So we're going to see how it performs. We're going to see if it's better than the 360 pad on PC, which, spoiler, it is. And we're generally just going to play around with it for 5 or 10 minutes. So. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. First things first, I'm testing this on Watch Dogs because I've been playing all of Watch Dogs with a 360 pad. And I figured it would be the best comparison for me to make, considering that I know what the game's like on a 360 pad, and I'm now learning what it's like on a an Xbox One pad. So, I feel like I can make that comparison and make it well. I'm still generally coming to terms with the Xbox One controller here in Watch Dogs because I haven't played the game on Xbox One. I haven't played it on last gen consoles either. I just know how it performs on PC and what it's like with the 360 pads. So this really is my first stab at the game with an Xbox One controller and I must say I'm really enjoying it. It's much more responsive. It just feels that bit more sharp and it's nice. I have to be honest, it's the easiest way to go ahead and describe this is nice, to be honest, and I, I wish I could come up with more, but it's pleasant, it's nice, it's responsive, it's what you want from a gamepad. It performs exactly as it does in Xbox One, which is, again, nice and responsive and pretty damn good, if I'm perfectly honest. Are there any downsides to it? Well... Yes, but they're maybe just me. I don't know how many more people do this, but when I'm playing some racing games, I like to sit with my fingers at the triggers, the, the bumpers, like this, as you can see on the other camera there that's actually on the controller. My fingers will sit on the bumpers like this, and these bumpers on the Xbox One can't really be pressed down from this point right here. You have to press them at a lower point, which is... Maybe just me, it might just be me that does that, but I don't enjoy that. And it's a little bit prominent, it means I have to press a little bit harder on the left bumper to bring up this circle menu here, but that's fine. It's it's a tiny little thing, it's a bit of a nitpick, it might just be me. It might not just be me, but it might just be me. I'll let you decide. In general, I must admit though, I am really enjoying this. Like I said, the added responsiveness and the added sharpness is just, it's just wonderful. I think the most notable thing with this is that driving feels absolutely brilliant. It's really sharp. It just gives you that added little bit of control that I think I, I've been wanting, to be honest, with Watch Dogs. I think something that has been holding this back, aside from the obvious PC issues, is the fact that, for me, it didn't really control in the way that I felt a a next-gen game should. I felt that the PC controls were pretty bad, and honestly, I, I felt that um, playing on a 360 pad was pretty sluggish as well, so it's nice to actually be playing the game on a, a controller that is actually designed to play games that are considered next generation, so I'm definitely getting the next-gen feel from just the controls alone. And that is wonderful to have. I'm absolutely loving that. Now, I'm going to want to get over here very quickly before these guys shoot the crap out of me. Which they're certainly trying, so let's go ahead and get... I'll go for a nice loud pistol, I think. We'll go for the... Yeah, the M8M. Let's see. Who can I take out with this? They've got some reinforcements on the right there. Not anymore, they don't. In fact, I'm going to take his car and be a bit of a nuisance. I think there are definitely games that warrant a controller over a keyboard and mouse. 
Either that's because the game just wasn't designed for it, the developers are lazy, or it just feels better. I think driving games especially are ones that you should play with a, a pad or a wheel as opposed to keyboard and mouse because it just doesn't give you that analog steering feel. And I think open world games like Watch Dogs and GTA are another example of games that you should play with a controller. So I think this is definitely nice, this feels good, it feels solid, and I highly recommend it. So with that in mind, folks, I'm going to leave it there. If you're going to take my word for anything, take it that you should definitely try this out. If you're looking for a new gamepad for your PC, I would recommend the Xbox One controller. If you're an Xbox One user with a PC as well, definitely give it a shot. There will be a download link in the description for the drivers that will let you go ahead and use the Xbox One controller on PC. With that in mind, folks, I've been the Conflict Nerd. Thank you very much for watching. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go solve some crimes.